what's up guys welcome to my first ever iceberg video and in case if you guys do not know what an iceberg video is it's a chart in the shape of an iceberg and on top of the iceberg has some information that the general public does know about it's pretty mainstream but the deeper we dive into the iceberg it will be some information that the general public does not know about and also the deeper we dive into the iceberg this information will slightly get disturbing by each layer we get into so hopefully my video doesn't get age restricted or limited ads because i just got monetized and all my videos or mostly all of them are limited Bruh. ads so yeah hopefully i can monetize this video and this iceberg video will be about the darkest vine iceberg which for some reason no one on youtube has talked about a vine iceberg because yeah sure vine did die a few years back but like still completion videos on youtube they still get millions of views and no one has made an iceberg on vine like it kind of surprised me and hopefully this video blows up because i'm technically the first person who made an iceberg on vine and by the way here is my iceberg chart which i did make myself so before i get into each layer of the iceberg make sure to watch to the end of this video because by the end i will earn your subscription Vine shutting down. Obviously the app is no longer available because it shut down in 2017. Vine was extremely popular so why would it shut down? It shut down because behind the scenes, Vine would lack monetization since it was a newer app that had high potential for success. They needed investors in order to keep everything running successfully and a lot of popular apps struggle and lose money in the beginning but when time passes and the company develops they become more popular so other companies invest in them twitter actually liked the concept of vine so they bought it before vine was available to the public so twitter was the main investor which means as long as they can finance it vine will stay up then instagram added a feature where people can make 15 second long videos and in the following months it will be changed to a minute long while Vine was strictly on that 6 second long video limit, and when Instagram added that feature, Vine was screwed. Even the Vine management was screwed, since management would change hands frequently and at one point, it fell into the hands of Hannah Donovan, who had little experience on running a company. And when Twitter saw that management was changing often, Twitter started losing confidence in Vine. With all the competition, Vine started to get less views, and many top creators on Vine requested $1.2 million per month to make 12 six second vine videos on each of their accounts and if vine did not comply they would just switch over to instagram or any other video sharing site since this was 2016 to 2017 twitter themselves were struggling so they had two options pay up 1.2 million dollars to every top creator or else they will hop off the platform causing the viewership to tank even more or to shut down the app so twitter decided to go with the second option causing vine to shut down the vine invasion since all of those top vine creators didn't get their 1.2 million they had to invade other platforms and the hotspot for those creators was youtube and some of the top viners that moved to youtube were Lely pons gabby Hanna, david dobrik paul brothers and many more many people shit on these creators since they migrated platforms which personally that doesn't bother me since people from tiktok are trying to do the same thing and hop over to youtube but tiktok isn't dying anytime soon Adam Perkins. Adam Perkins is best known for this vine with over 25 million views. Hi, welcome to Chili's. Sadly, Adam passed away on April 11th, 2021 from a and in his autopsy, they found these in his body. So why is this on the iceberg? This is on the iceberg because when he was pronounced dead, people would talk about vine again and everyone posted his famous chili meme all over social media to honor his memory. I even reposted it on my story. It was a sad day that a Vine legend passed away, but on that day, the internet paid respect to Adam, and it was kind of a celebration to honor his life, and it is cool seeing so many people being supportive, which is something you don't see on the internet too often. Like, I didn't see anyone joking about his death, and on that day, like I said, people were just talking about the good old Vine days. Rest in peace, Adam. Scam ads. These scam ads were everywhere on Vine, where the ad claims if you download the app, you'll get cool swiping effects as you would from a jailbroken phone, or even an app that allows you to access free movies. And another popular scam ad claimed that you could read anyone's text messages, which obviously those apps were 100% fake. Wi-Fi ads. Get Wi-Fi anywhere you go. Hold up. 
this is also part of the scam as but i feel like this deserves its own separate topic where i talk about it just because these wi-fi ads were everywhere more common than the other scam ads these ads claimed if you downloaded their app you could get free wi-fi anywhere you go and i'm pretty sure this was a time where a lot of devices did not have a hotspot since i remember in middle school everyone didn't have a hotspot and were begging the school for the wi-fi password and i'm not even gonna lie to you guys i fell for these scam ads because i would download the free wi-fi ads and i would also download wi-fi hackers so if i'm ever out i can connect my ipod touch to anybody's wi-fi but those apps never worked vine camera right when the top creators left vine vine was dying fast so vine changed the vine app to vine camera which is an app where you can make 6.5 second long vine videos but the video will save to your camera roll for private viewing or you can post them on twitter so vine camera is just vine but without sharing the video to many people so it's kind of like a private vine which also got shut down in 2017. Byte Co-creator of vine Don Hoffman was planning on making a comeback after leaving vine and after vine originally shut down. The comeback was going to be the second coming of vine and the secret project was called v2. But when it came out in 2020 it was renamed to Byte and there was zero hype for a vine comeback. So no one even knew about this app since many people just moved on from Vine and just stuck to TikTok. And plus, the former Vine stars from Vine have already moved on to do better things so the return of Vine was destined to fail. Josh Holes Josh was actually the kid who recorded and said the damn Daniel Vine. <laughs> Damn, Daniel. This got super popular that Daniel actually got a lifetime supply of vans from the Ellen Show. Daniel was being praised by many people around the world, but people would start to hate on Daniel a little bit because all he really did was just stand there and he didn't really do anything. Because at the end of the day, it was Josh who would say the iconic phrase and the one to post the video. And all he got was a surfboard, while his friend Daniel was the one who got the lifetime supply of shoes just by standing there while Josh made the meme and basically made Daniel famous. I don't want to put words in Josh's mouth but on the Ellen show he did seem kind of jealous because if you look at his facial expressions he doesn't seem too excited to be there. That could just be me but what do you guys think? And sadly Josh got swatted in 2016 but nobody got hurt and in case if you're wondering what Josh is doing today all he really is is vibing, playing with his guitar and skateboarding. Nothing too much going on with his life. HQ Trivia The other two co-creators of Vine started HQ Trivia in 2017, but in 2020, it died. HQ Trivia was somewhat successful and it was a live game show app that enables users to compete against each other and win real and virtual cash prizes. But the app died since investors stopped funding it. And I will also mention HQ Trivia one more time later down the iceberg because there is another dark topic about HQ Trivia. What are those? 31 year old Brandon Moore, the man who created the viral What Are Those meme, died on November 28th, 2018, after a night of ingesting a bunch of including and causing him to have an. The meme got old super fast, but it was mainstream, and a lot of people thought it was funny since a lot of movies and shows would use this meme after it was trendy. Von Mar. Von Mar is one of the douchiest pranksters of all time, and if you thought 2017 Pop Brothers was bad, you probably have never seen Von Mar's videos before. He's the creator of put him in the coffin trend where you say the phrase and go limp, usually in public settings or on people's cars, which is just pure vandalism. He also did more douchey videos like smoking in public places, making scenes, or just harassing people. There's two popular Von Mar videos that are just messed up because in one of the videos, he's with this lady that is theorized that she could be a GTA Hong Kong character which I don't know if I can say that P word on YouTube. But the alleged was at her own house with Von Mar and his crew. Von Mar asked her how does she make her money and she says not to worry about it so that's why people assume that she's a GTA Hong Kong character. Hey, how you get your money? Don't doing? worry about it. Then Von Mar runs into her kid's room since they're at the lady's house and wakes up her kid saying I'm at your mama's house. Wake your ass up G. I'm at your mama's house. Hey, hey, hey. Go back to sleep Keegan. Which is 
dub and also from the video they do say that the kid is 13 years old your son said he loved me Which like a one? 13 year old look he's really hot. he's really mean it's just so messed up what Vonmar did by waking up the kid just to taunt him right before he does it dirty with the kid's mom. And the other popular video that actually got him arrested was him ransacking a 7-Eleven. Vonmar went to a 7-Eleven to do the put him in the coffin trend and he even went behind the counter which he would do in other videos. He would just mess stuff up by playing with the computers, destroying merchandise, talking back to the workers and when the workers tell Vonmar that he can't be behind the counter, the worker threatens him by calling the cops. But Vonmar doesn't care and tells the workers to call the cops because he's famous and that he's on Worldstar. Then Vonmar leaves, but he decides to steal the coffee machine and then he does this. Just vandalizing that 7-Eleven. Then he was later arrested and charged with felony charges back in 2015 when this happened. But he's been out since and right now, he's just been reposting his old vines and just tweeting random things on Twitter. Pretty weird. Cameron Dallas. Cameron Dallas was a Vine star and he is best known for throwing stuff from his balcony. In 2015, cops were called after someone hurled a paint can out of Cameron's 6th floor window, nearly hitting a woman below. Cops arrived and discovered the entire apartment, along with everyone inside, splattered with paint because they were filming some type of paint video. Cameron was arrested on felony vandalism and held on $20,000 bail, but he was released shortly after. Cameron got arrested again in 2018 for beating up a hotel guest in the same hotel that Cameron was staying at, but Cameron claims that it was self-defense. Jerome Speedo. Jerome was a popular Vine star in 2014 and he decided to do a prank where he gets into an airplane while wearing a Speedo and also wearing an inflatable duck. Apparently all the people in the plane thought it was funny but one crew member didn't so he called the cops so when the plane landed at the airport he would get arrested. Turns out he wasn't arrested and he was set free but Jerome had to talk to the FBI three hours before he got freed. Walter Easley. In 2013, 17-year-old Walter posted a vine of him kicking a cat from his porch. When that went viral, so many people were hating on him, so 4chan just doxed him and had all of his information. Before that, Walter actually deleted the video since he was getting flamed on social media, but the video has already been shared to other platforms and has been viewed possibly a millions of times. Then Walter was arrested on August 19th, 2013 on the misdemeanor charge for animal cruelty and because of that he could be staying in jail for two months and keep in mind he was a minor and also me saying that he's just a minor it's not me defending him and also his court thing was so dumb and it didn't make sense because his defense was i don't have it up on screen by the way but it was something along the lines of i didn't mean to hurt the cat i thought it was funny which it doesn't make sense to me so it was just a kid being stupid Hayes Greer. Hayes was a popular Vine star who gained good success since he was the youngest person to be in Dancing with the Stars. So what went wrong? On July 26, 2021, the report states that officers responded to a call around 12.30 a.m. that a man has been physically beaten up. Hayes stole the victim's phone before beating him up with his hands, feet, and teeth according to the report. Hayes was arrested and charged with felony conspiracy and a causing serious bodily injury. Hayes also got hit with a common law robbery charge since he did steal the phone. As for the robbery charge against Hayes, prosecutors say the property was returned to the alleged victim, so prosecutors didn't think they had enough evidence to prove robbery. Cops said the alleged victim suffered a broken eye socket, bruised ribs, brain damage, loss of hearing, and bleeding from the back of the head during the beatdown. Prosecutors in North Carolina dismissed the case against Hayes, citing insufficient evidence since a phone was returned and also Hayes and the alleged victim were both intoxicated so the charges were dropped. Young Poppy Young Poppy is the one known for creating the song, If You Want a Burger, Eat a Burger, Want a Burger, Eat a Burger, Eat a Burger which was a popular song on Vine. Young Poppy's real name, Michael Steen, pled guilty in federal court, admitting that he supplied f that led into a fiddle of a 33-year-old Ramona woman on July 9th, 2018. Michael pled guilty to conspiracy to distribute and Michael sold 25 pills containing for $650 to an undercover agent in Michael's Mercedes-Benz in a parking lot during an investigation. Then Michael was sent to 148 months in prison, 
but he's serving an out of jail sentence so he's still active on Instagram till this day and all he's really doing is just reposting his old stuff. 21 kid missing. We all know the legendary 9 plus 10 equals 21 meme. What's 9 plus 10? 21. The meme was so big that everybody was saying it and it was funny at the time. Even though it was funny, some people would actually harass the kid for not knowing what 9 plus 10 is. This article by Hustlers came out saying that the 21 kid named Habib ran away from home after so many people harassed him. Before he left, Habib wrote a goodbye note saying, I tired of everyone laughing at me. I running away forever now. If you want to find me, the only clue I leaving is 21. This does seem like an interesting missing persons case, but the article is fake because Hustlers is a satire news place where they just make comedic articles. So why is this on the iceberg? It's on the iceberg because so many people actually believed that the 21 kid gone missing and so many 21 kid fans would actually post videos asking the kid to come back home. The little boy had ran away. I was like, oh, that's not a joke anymore. He's gone. Just because he got the answer wrong, they don't give you the right to take advantage of him. I hope they find him. Which in a way, it's pretty wholesome. Well, the original account who posted the original 21 kid meme owned by the brother who filmed the video actually confirmed that the 21 kid real name, Xavier, never went missing. They said you was missing, my. I'm not missing. Yeah, tell them, man. The video got a few hundred thousand views, but many people said that it wasn't the real 21 kid, even though that account posted the original version of the 21 video and also had a few more videos with Xavier saying the famous 21 line. 21. Wavy Websurf did make a video on this proving that the confirmation video of Xavier is true so credit to him for all this information and Wavy if you're watching this video we're gonna collab one day because Tub and Wavy Websurf they are huge inspirations for the channel and I'm already gonna do a collab video with Tub once I hit 100k so one day I have to collab with Wavy because he is also another inspiration to this channel. These nuts man homeless. Welvin the Great, also known as this guy, these nuts is an internet legend since it's one of those vines that has never died since we all love to say these nuts. Unlike every meme, Welvin actually made good money with his vine since people would pay him to make appearances like skits, music videos, concerts, you name it, and he would charge $4,700 and up to 45 k to make those appearances so people would pay him to hang out with celebrities just for him saying these nuts. This wouldn't last long since there has been rumors that Welvin has been essaying women but he has denied those claims in an interview which didn't get much attention and his Instagram with over a million followers got hacked and the hacker deleted the account making Welvin fall into irrelevancy. But where is Welvin today? People say that he's now homeless since a few videos have surfaced where people would record Welvin sleeping on the street. How could he be homeless if he charged thousands of dollars for hanging out with celebrities? Well, it is claimed that he had horrible spending habits and that women exploited him for money since he was a celebrity and he was an easy target. Calling Kroll Colin was one third of the co-founders of Vine, and earlier I did say I'll talk about HQ Trivia again later down the iceberg. I mentioned that he and the other co-founder of Vine started HQ Trivia, which started to go downhill. Before the company ended, six were arrested in connection to the death of Colin Kroll. Colin was found dead in December of 2018 at his home in New York City. The New York City's medical examiner office later determined that the cause of death was from an accidental Mike's Candy Shop delivery service pleads guilty to narcotics and distribution that resulted in the 2018 death of Colin Kroll. Curtis Lepore Curtis is an American actor, musician, and internet celebrity known for his Vine videos. As of August 2016, he was ranked as the 7th most popular user on Vine, but in October 2013, Curtis was alleged to have R-worded his then-girlfriend, Jesse, and the incident occurred when Jesse was in Los Angeles recovering from a concussion. Jesse stated that Curtis came over to help while she was recovering, and once she was asleep, Curtis R-worded her. Curtis took a plea deal on February 21st, 2014, pleading guilty to felony assault and effectively writing himself to the R-word charge. 
And that is the end of the darkest vine iceberg. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video and hopefully I did earn your subscription. And to the people who has already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for all the crazy recent support because we are at 4.6 thousand subscribers and hopefully this video does perform well since iceberg videos they get crazy views and my iceberg is about vine something that no one has talked about on youtube like there's no vine iceberg on youtube for some reason even though vine was such a popular app so it is cool to be the first one and hopefully this video does well and i am finally monetized so thank you so much for watching all my videos of course so hopefully i can make some money with this video since for some reason, all my videos have limited ads, so I won't be making money on those videos. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check me out on TikTok and Instagram at MorbidForFun. But other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys.